So here's a little story for you guys. Um, chasing that pinnacle fish, you know, Spanish mackerel, around that 40 kilo size is something that we'd, we'd all like to tangle in our time. And um, so one of the boys from Kingy, about 10 years ago on, on Good Friday, uh, finally reached his pinnacle and got his 40 kilo Spanish. Um, tying a dead bait, um, fish quite in close. Good Friday, so it'll, it'll mark the time of year for what time those big fish do start rolling through. Little fish and that, we'll start seeing them now. You know, November, December, spotties will start coming through and all that. So anyway, he got his good fish, couldn't tangle another Spanish mackerel decent size till another 10 years later on Good Friday. So quite uncanny how it happens, but it can happen and it can happen twice. So don't despair, keep cracking with those guys. So today I'll start on Spanish and spotties and your pelagic season in close for your small boat fellas and stuff like that. Um, I'll tangle dead baits next segment and fresh baits and rigs and things like that. But these for you guys are for you guys that do struggle um, on your bit of rigging for your big baits, for your, for your toothy critters and all that. Um, there's a handful of lures that will drag you guys out of the woodwork and put fish on the deck of the boat. As you can see, there's not a shitload of lures here. Uh, there's a handful of lures that actually work. We've tested and tested and keep going back to them each year. Um, so long and the short of it, you, you pick, uh, afternoon high tides, early morning high tides, when you want to chase those, those toothy critters. Uh, they're some of your best time, especially in the RVs, great value. A lot of people are already coming home, you'll have the place to yourself. So I'll pretty much will get out there, make sure my water's right, and start towing some hard bodies. So a couple of my favourites, I'll pin it up first. My Zurich and my Speed Donkeys. Um, look, I've had the boat up to 25, 28 kilometres an hour doing stupid things, couldn't be bothered pulling the lures in the water and these things still stay in the water. So for a fast towing lure, that's exceptional for me. Great swim in action, they do everything I want. Um, next high speed fella is my Rapala in the extreme in the 160s. Turn some great fish on these guys. Um, not only your Spanish and your spots and that, me wahoo and that tend to not leave these guys alone. So. You can get these things dancing at a good pace at your lures and all that. Uh, another one's my Nomad in the 160s and the 65s and in the, in the DTXs. These things, same deal. I can tow these exceptionally hard, but uh, sometimes, like last year, we had a lot of rain and all that during our mackerel season, so the top layer of water was dirty. So you think it was bad water, but another six to 10 feet down, the water's clear. So those boys who got those lures under that dirty water line. We're pretty much all the only boys catching fish at that time. So this um, come into its own. I do exceptionally well up north on those. And they got a small high speed version. They don't swim quite as deep, but you can tow the hell out of them. They stay in the water. They produce a couple little different hook points to uh, uh, mix up whether you want to put singles on there and things like that, but still a cracking lure. Um, your old CD mags, like these things are older than me, but uh, and that's old, but they work exceptionally well and they still do. I've had situations where I struggle on some of my new latest lures, put the old girl back in the water and lo and behold I turn a reel. So these are a good thing as well. Um, I do love me Halcos. Halcos, good bang for buck for what you want to do with your hard bodies and you got high speed versions. You've got deeper versions that uh, still tow quite fast, not as fast as your high speed ones, um, but produce all the time. Two metre swimmer looks a great thing. Um, some of you boys during the season, we lose a lot of gear. We can't get that colour that we want. There might be a same colour in a smaller version. These guys have interchangeable bibs, so it's just a little pin. You get a fine little screwdriver. You pop the pin out the side, pull the pin out, pull the bib out, and you can put the other bib from your shallow diver or your deep diver, you can interchange them. So a few of you guys know about it already, a lot of you don't, so mix it up your lures, mix up your depths, you, you, got, you have to change it when the fish aren't biting, you've got to do something different, we can't do the same thing each time. So these are a great lure for what you want to do. Spin in your spots, look, me slugs, 35 grams, 40 grams, I do, your lasers have always been a cracker. They've turned them for years. 
Um, TTs have got an awesome little one now, small profile, uh, pearl white, it seems to be a good colour for it as well. So one year you'll have, they'll go off on pinks, one year they'll go on, on white. So you do got to have a handful of different colours of these guys in that 40 gram profile to mix it up. Now they're not an expensive lure, Mackies are uh, toothy critters as you know. Um, I do find if I speed them up fast enough on the retrieve, I do get a lot of mouth hookups on the fish. I don't lose any lures, so I don't run wire. Um, it's uncanny, some people might say you're crazy, but I find not running wire, I will be that step ahead on a few of the other blokes each morning. Um, I might lose two or three, some days I don't lose any at all, but you know, six and seven bucks a pop, they're not too bad, not, not like losing a $30 lure. Um, there is a little skirt I'll throw in amongst it from Black Magic in the Jet Setter. Fruit salad colour did really well for me. As you can see, I haven't got many skirts up here uh, because they all get the shit chewed out of him. So I don't use them too much, but sometimes these guys, uh, they want that smaller profile. They're eating little anchovies, things like that. You can't get them on the slugs. You do a bit of a troll uh, and you lift them. Last little tip I do when I am trolling my hard body, sometimes I do go a little bit slower. They're lazy, they still want to eat. Um, so in amongst my deep divers and that, I will throw a big western swim in amongst the mix. I will throw a big mad scat in amongst the mix. And just as you're trolling, these things will just do the big kick left, right, left, right, just under the surface. Enough for that same thing. If you're not drawing the strike, it's something different for the fish to have a look at. So hopefully that'll help you guys, uh, small boat fish hasn't that in close with the Stardia Mackies without bait. If you can't get bait, just throw a couple of these guys out and see how you go. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, let us know about biggest Mackie you've got on a certain lure, on a bait. Um, hit the like down below. <laughs> hit the like down below and um, let us know.